Tala for everyone. Tunai Matia here from the Fossil Fuel Non-Proliferation Treaty, coming to you from the Kato Pacific Community Climate Fund meeting right here in the beautiful island of Kio. This initiative is a much needed solution for frontline communities seeking climate funding. It represents a significant step forward in addressing the historic challenges they face while providing hope for a more resilient and sustainable future. The reason why we are needing this fund is because of climate change. And if you can track climate change back to its source, it's the fossil fuel industry. It is the industries that have exploited our land and have created this crisis. Fossil fuel is very uh, expensive, you know, and especially here in Kioa, a remote island in the Fijian groups. We, we want to, to make life more easier, but we have to pay the cost, not only the uh, expensive of fuel, but also the destruction that the petroleum and other related uh, fuels that are destroying the environment. With disasters increasing in intensity and frequency, it is crucial that we bridge the financial gap and provide direct support to those most affected. The Kato funding as such is, uh, is essential to communities that are affected by all of these changes. I'm not only particularly looking at or talking about climate change, I'm also looking at uh, cultural erosion where culture is lost. A fund like this, it's good to finance the, the plans or our moves in trying to maintain and trying to protect and to conserve our culture. As we've seen here in Kyoa, frontline communities continue to mobilize and rise to the challenge. But we also need access to the resources to adapt to current impacts and prepare for future ones. As we tackle the causes of climate change at the source and transition towards renewables, we need to ensure that no one is left behind. For the Fossil Fuel Non-Proliferation Treaty, I'm Tunay Matia. Pakakitailas.